Good morning, New York. Super quiet here today. A couple things we're looking at. Aussie and Kiwi in particular. Yesterday was a doji and Aussie at the bottom of the range, but we really haven't come close to making it through the highs, and now we're kind of probing the lows here. This should accelerate if we get through these 87 lows, if it's risk off, which right now it's risk neutral, but if it is, this looks quite interesting. It's little cousin Kiwi. You can see this is a trend line a lot of people will have drawn. This is the 200 day moving average. If we get risk off, Kiwi through 72 the figure or low has been 07 today. You can almost sell through 07 now in New York if we get um, risk off. These two are very interesting, Aussie and Kiwi. As far as cable is concerned, CPI came in a little bit soft, but no drama. Interestingly enough, we did print 140.17, but this looks like a trap. You're going to see support between 139.90 and 140. Um, this li this thing loosens up, and the, and the longs will start fleeing on prices below 139.90. I don't know what's going to take us there or how we're going to get there, but even though this now looks like some sort of mild double top or whatever, we don't really respect this 18 level just because of where it's placed in this sort of bigger picture pattern. Dollar Swiss we like. Doji, sort of bearish indecision, but same high. 95.50 the day before FOMC raises rates. Makes sense. Dollar's going to go higher, I think, over the next 24 hours. Just have to be patient and wait for the levels here. We're just kind of floating around doing nothing. Euro printed a high of 54 today. Waste of time. Back down. Whoops. Back down. Uh, back down through 31. And now we're just sort of sitting here again, waiting, biding our time. This big pennant here has to resolve itself some point this week. Our money's on the downside, but of course, it doesn't matter which side breaks. We will trade either side, but downside looks susceptible to me. Equities, yeah, they floated up to 27, 28, 50 today, and then floated down to 16. Now we're at 27.20 not doing too much what we do like is put on the Facebook fade we closed just on the 200 day moving average you kind of want to just sell Facebook every time it goes up 5 bucks now so 76 176 178 could easily close the gap 184 but Facebook's going to be impaired going forward now. The sentiment is building against it. Governments want to tax it more. Um, their founder is selling $13 billion of his own stock. A lot of uh, relatively negative news coming out on this particular stock. And just because it's so fun to be short, I would encourage, uh, encourage everyone to join in on the fun. Um, because, you know... Life's too short not to have fun, right? Anyway, what else is out there? Um, dollars are not much going on there. We've printed up to 404.27, down to 97. Nothing to do there. Oh, yeah, let's take a look at dollar yen. Dollar yen is confounding me. I don't really understand what the hell's going on in dollar yen. It went all the way up to 60 this morning. Looked like they got a bunch of cross yen stops. Then all the way back down to 11, and now we're back at 40. It is just sort of a mind fuck, this dollar yen. I mean, I was really sure we were going to be heading towards 105 um, with that risk off yesterday, but it just never really materialized. And, and here we are. So, no trades out there, dollar yen. Something to keep in mind this moving average, it's the 200 period of the four hour, 107.21 
should be resistance first time we've been under that sucker now for uh, a good month month and month and four days so that's something to keep in mind if you're a fader but we have no uh, no axe to grind in dollar yen the main focus is Aussie and Kiwi the story has to uh, be in place otherwise we're happy to be patient and start planning for tomorrow evening Mr. Powell's first FOMC. Alright guys, I've said enough. Good luck out there. Bye!